There's an AI for that currently has over 9,000 AI tools, and the most popular of them are in the most saved section. But which of these AI tools are actually the best? Hey everyone, I'm Noel, your AI aficionado. Today, we're counting down the top 10 most saved AI tools from There's an AI for that.com. But before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get updates on when our awesome AI videos get released. Now, let's start with number 10. FineCam. FineCam allows you to record video with a bunch of interesting AI tools and features. So this is FineCam itself. We have a bunch of options here that FineCam can do. But when you click on background, a menu does pop up with which gives me a bunch of options. So right now I've blurred my original background and we can remove it. We have a bunch of options here. Of course, I'm going to put here the there's an AI for that. There we go. Let's say we're presenting the I just click themes right here and let's click on another one. Bunch of other themes here like that. As you can see, it is a very powerful AI tool and you can like easily create themes, change your background. The background changing is like super fun. Unfortunately, as I started recording, there was a lot of audio desync throughout my videos. But in any case, you can still try out FineCam for yourself. The one month plan is $9.95 a month. You can get the one year plan for $29.99 or the lifetime plan, which is $59.90. I give FineCam a 4 out of 5 for its feature set, a 1 out of 5 for its ease of use because I encountered way too many glitches while recording video, and a 4 out of 5 for its price. At number 9, we have ReRoom. ReRoom allows you to do virtual interior designing with any photo you have. So this is super useful if you have a home that you want to redecorate. So after you create your free account, you can just click New Render right here, and then it'll ask you to upload your photo. So below that, it has some examples of what you might want to try out. So I searched for rooms that are dilapidated as heck. Let's go with Japanese Zen. Wow, that is crazy. That looks amazing. Cyber Eclectic Fusion sounds like what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. So ReRoom AI works really well, but you really have to stick with the full remake options for now because if you do pretty much any of the virtual staging things, it's pretty much a crapshoot. So a lot of the times it doesn't work. The free plan allows for three renders per day and has a watermark. Uh, you can upgrade to the free plan, which is $25 a month, which includes unlimited renders, enhanced image quality, no watermark, and so on. I give ReRoom a four out of five for its feature set, a two out of five for its ease of use because virtual staging just doesn't work well right now and a two out of five for its expensive price number eight is simplified simplified wants to be your whole marketing department for you so after you create your free account you'll get your dashboard right here so as you go here you'll see that actually has several ai tools design video ai writer social media brand and assets and ai magic tools so the ai magic tools for example allows you to do a lot of basic ai stuff so as you can see here it did generate the cat winning an Academy Award. And the other thing I wanted to try next was AI Writer. So I asked it to list 10 ideas for YouTube videos about artificial intelligence. So let's see how fast it can generate. Well, there you go, it generated really fast. Another tool that they have here is design. What happens here is they essentially have a bunch of templates, presentation, thumbnail maker, social quotes. Let's try the thumbnail maker. Man, that is a generic ass generic thumbnail. AI Writer is $12 a month. Go to graphic design, that's $6 a month or $10 a month. Video editor is actually really expensive for the most feature rich ones, $32. Social media is super expensive. The AI chatbot, you can make your own AI chatbot for $12. That's the thing that's unfortunate with Simplified. So it's a very interesting, but I think in order to unlock the full potential of this sort of idea, it's just way too expensive. And because of that, I think they should really have had uh, bundle pricing. They should have had a really reduced price if you wanted to buy like three of these simultaneously or all five simultaneously get a huge discount. I give Simplified a 5 out of 5 for its feature set, a 4 out of 5 for its ease of use, and a 1 out of 5 for its really horrible pricing. Number 7 is AI Lawyer. The legal system is confusing pretty much everyone, so if you want some serious legal matters uh, explained to you, then AI Lawyer is what you're looking for. So once you've signed up for your free account, you can see here that it has some suggestions so you can immediately start out. So let's try some of these out. Sure, what are my rights as an employee? Ah, very smart. It's asking me where I'm from because uh, employee law laws are different per country. As an employee in the Philippines, you have several rights. Yup, there you go. Can I get divorced in the Philippines? Is that a thing? There you go. It is correct. In the Philippines, divorce is not legally recognized. Let's ask it to draft a memorandum of understanding for a joint venture between two companies. So there you go. Oh, this is very interesting. So see, because my specific question was, how do I win my class action lawsuit? It says here that the AI lawyer is not an actual lawyer. So you should actually seek guidance from an actual human lawyer for this, but it does give you a bunch of details on how to win your case. 
you have an agreement summary, you can compare agreements right there, or you can create an agreement. There you go. You can, of course, try it for free, but you'll only get like a few prompts. It has $9.99 per week. You can get the $19.99 per month. You get 24 hours free before that, so you get a free day. Or you can get $99.99 per year off. I give AI Lawyer a 4 out of 5 for its feature set, a 5 out of 5 for its ease of use, and a 2 out of 5 for its price because I think it's just a bit too expensive. At number 6, we have Splash. Splash Pro allows you to create your own original songs using AI with just a few text prompts. So as you can see here, we have the option to use Gen 1 or Gen 2. So what's the difference? So if we look at it, it says that Gen 2 is brand new and it is their brand new uh, generative model, but I tested it out a lot and found that it can be really unpredictable. It got a lot of my prompts wrong. I would personally recommend that you use Gen 1 for now. In the prompt field, we have a sample prompt that we can use already, which is, what does it say here? 80 synthwave vapor nostalgic. Actually, we can try that out right now. And what will happen is... Uh, Splash will give us a few samples uh, that it thinks is close enough to the prompt that we want and we'll select those to get a full version of the song we want. So here we go. How many are these? Four. Let's listen and see what each of them sounds like. I like this one actually. But for example, all of the samples it gave you were not good. You can actually click more samples and it'll give you four more that you can choose from. Okay. Sounds similar to one of those that we heard before. So let's go with the third one. I think I like the third one the best. As you can see here, it's currently generating a 30 second song based on sample three. Really fast. It Splash's free version is pretty cool since you can already make unlimited songs, but it has paid versions and a lot more features. Starter plan is $10 and the max plan is $49. I give Splash a 4 out of 5 for its feature set, a 4 out of 5 for its ease of use, and a 3 out of 5 for its price. Number 5 is Magic Slides. Magic Slides is an AI tool that'll help you create full Google Slides presentations with just a few clicks or prompts. First thing you need to do is install Magic Slides and this will bring you to the Google Workspace Marketplace where you can install uh, Magic Slides to the Google account that you want to use it with. So next you want to open up a new Google Slides presentation and click Extensions above here and you can see Magic Slides right there there. Let's do the first one, uh, generate PowerPoint first. So you'll see this area pop up on the right side here, and this is where you can enter your prompts to create your presentation from scratch. And then if you wanted to make your presentation more detailed, you can actually fill up the rest of these. But just with a very vague topic of artificial intelligence, let's see how good of a presentation it can actually give us. Ooh, and we are done. Let's check what sort of information it gave us. Introduction to artificial intelligence, history of AI, and the prompt was just create a presentation about artificial intelligence. No other details, just to see what it's capable of. So let's try YouTube to PowerPoint. I'm gonna use the URL of the MKBHD YouTube video about uh, artificial intelligence. The rest of these slides look actually really cool. Look at that. Finally, we have Ask PowerPoints. If we click this, then we can ask the PowerPoint anything about the topic itself. Very cool about Magic Slides is that it does have a free version, as, as you can see here. The essential plan is $6.7 a month if billed annually. Then there is a $12.4 plan a month, which is the pro plan if billed annually. And if you need way more than that, then this is the premium yearly, which is $23.03 per month. I give Magic Slides a 4 out of 5 for its feature set, a 3 out of 5 for its ease of use because a lot of its features don't seem to work really well right now, and a 4 out of 5 for its price. Number four is Stratup.ai. Stratup.ai helps you create successful startup ideas. After you create your free account, you can get started. And as you can see there, hello Dax. Dax, uh, the startup genie, will help you create your uh, startup plan. And as you can see right here, it has a bunch of industries that it thinks will be a good idea to start out with. But if you don't like any of those, you can just refresh and it'll give you a brand new set. Or if you don't want any of those and you want a bit more control about what your idea will wind up becoming, you can click advanced mode right here and then you can select from drop downs. So let's generate an idea. So there we go. Actually, that was just a few seconds and Dax has already given us an, an interesting idea right here. It says, it suggests AI powered document management platform. Interesting. It says here that the market size is 10 billion. So that's not bad. So 
we can actually generate a full report based on this. This is a very detailed report. It has a lot of aspects here that you can click on. It has branding, industry insights, SWOT analysis, pestle analysis, market research, and so on and so forth. Let's create another startup idea right here. Let's put insurance. Let's create an insurance company. And there you go. In literally just a few seconds, like less than five seconds, it gives us this very interesting idea, which is simplifying and personalizing insurance policies. So once again, let's generate that full report. So let's view our insurance company a startup idea. So there you go. The full branding, industry insights, SWOT analysis, test analysis is right here. This is a very full and detailed report just from some very vague and varied startup ideas that I just threw at it. Yeah, there is a free version. You can try it before actually uh, diving in and purchasing. But if you're really serious about generating a lot of startup ideas for the future, the pro plan is $15 a month. There's also Pro Plus, which is $49 a month. I give Stratup.ai a four out of five for its feature set, a five out of five for its ease of use, and a three out of five for its price. Number three is GPT XL. GPT XL allows you to create spreadsheet formulas with AI. And after you create your free account, you can go to the dashboard where you have a bunch of options right here. You can generate formulas, scripts, SQL, regex, and templates. So let's go to formulas first. You have the option of having the formula be generated or explained to you for uh, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. So you see there, uh, if you just wanted, for example, to know how to average things in your Google, uh, in your Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, as you can see here on the on the right side right here, GPT XL will explain how to do it exactly like that. You can make this as complicated or as easy for you as possible in this field right here for you. You can also have it explain certain formulas for you, like for example, and there you go, a full explanation right there. But something very useful again for like a beginner like myself is this template area because it can create for you a sort of template for a lot of use cases, both in your personal life and in your professional life. So if you, you don't know how to start, it has a bunch of examples right here. So example, uh, we have a monthly budget tracker. And as you can see, it generated the monthly budget tracker right here. So you can export that as Excel or a CSV file and you can open it right up into a brand new Google Sheet. And there you go. Pretty well made monthly budget tracker. Let's see what it'll give us when we try to ask for a statistical analysis template. And there you go. And it opens right up in uh, Google Sheets like before. So there is a free version, thankfully. You can use the formula generator and the formula explainer unlimited. You can use it as much as you want with a free version but if you want access to the rest of that stuff it's six dollars and 99 cents per month with a pro plan i give gpt xl a four to five for its feature set a five out of five for its ease of use and a five out of five for its price at number two we have adify adify summarizes any youtube video so this is actually very useful for a lot of you that want to catch up to a lot of content but don't have a lot of time for it so it'll just summarize all the content for you instantly and let's see how it works first of all you need to install the chrome extension right here so now let's go to YouTube and try it out. So as you can see here, after you click the video, it'll just appear right there as a summarize button. Literally just a few seconds, like literally less than three or something. The key insights are right there and just scroll down here like that. You can see everything that is summarized from my video. You can click this other tab right here for a timestamp summary. Wow, that's really detailed. So like, for example, if you still wanted to watch certain parts, you can look at the summary and see where these timestamps are and go straight to that in the video. So let's try this out. Those in your class, and you what you got, just click for generate. Lucky number seven is Ghostwriter. Yep, it works. But that was a bit too easy because my video was just about four minutes long. Let's see how well it can summarize and how fast it can go with a two hour documentary. And pretty much instantly, like it didn't even appear. Like after the video loaded, the summary button was there. Once I clicked on it, immediately, uh, this area on the right side appears, almost no load time, and a full breakdown here of the key insights right here. Two hours summarized in just a few points. So this is where I think uh, this sort of AI tool will become useful is for people who like to consume a lot of these sort of long form podcasts. So it has a seven day free trial if you go for the annual plan. And yes, there is a free version, but I think it only allows for like three to five summaries or something like that. The length of the videos that allows you to summarize is really short, like five minutes or less. So like I mentioned earlier, I think the true power of this sort of AI tool is uh, for really long form videos like the PBS artificial intelligence documentary documentary or the Joe Rogan podcast that we just saw. To really make the most out of this tool, I would highly recommend that you get the paid version after, of course, 
trying it out. I give Edify a 4 out of 5 for its feature set, a 5 out of 5 for its ease of use, and a 5 out of 5 for its price. And finally, at number 1 is Ask Your PDF. Ask Your PDF is an AI tool where you can upload your documents and chat with it, so you can ask it pretty much whatever you want. This is super useful for those of you that deal with really long and really complicated documents. Despite the name, Ask Your PDF, as you can see here at the bottom, it says that supported formats are PDF, text, PowerPoint, EPUB, and RTF. So once you click Upload Document, you can upload it or you can upload from a URL. I found this really nice and long and super complicated PDF about biomedical sciences. So let's see what we can talk about there. Oh, there you go. So immediately, it immediately shows you like a summary of sorts about what the document is about. It actually preempts you by offering three questions that you may have in advance. Let's see how fast it can go. Oh, it, it's almost immediately. And it actually gave its source, you know, so it's from page two. So you're sure. So you can actually go back to your original PDF file and you can look it up. Let's copy and paste the entire Wikipedia article about the Bible and convert it into a text file and see what it can do with that. I'm, I'm sure a lot of the text document was a bunch of gibberish because I didn't bother to format it at all. It still made sense out of it because I'm sure the formatting in that text file was horrible. So another cool thing about Ask Your PDF is the knowledge base right here, where you can essentially select certain documents that you can ask about simultaneously. So it's asked about the Bible and the, uh, the biomedical science thing. It says right there that the current contents of the knowledge base are about biomedical science and the Gutenberg Bible. Think of this as your very own personalized Wikipedia space where you can just put in all of the knowledge that you want to learn about simultaneously, stuff that you're really concerned about or really curious about. So you can just ask instead of going through a bunch of different tabs and a bunch of different documents here on Ask Your PDF. So right there, the free version includes 100 pages max per document, 50 questions per day, three conversations per day, and one document upload per day. So the premium plan is $9.99 per month. And if you want more, then we have the pro plan, which is $14.99 per month. I give Ask Your PDF a 5 out of 5 for its price, a 5 out of 5 for its ease of use, and a 4 out of 5 for its price. This list makes it very clear that AI is all about making your lives simpler and more efficient. From organizing months of documents to creating entire presentations from just a few words, these AI tools aren't just some cool tech gimmicks. They're practical solutions to everyday challenges, saving us time and hassle. So no wonder they're so popular. Which of these AI tools caught your eye? Let me know in the comments which one you think is the best. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get updates on when our awesome AI videos get released. Again, I'm Noel, your AI aficionado. I'll see you in the next video where the future is now, and the code is always exciting.